G'day, I'm Murray, this is my backyard. I've got a build video for you. I had a problem, I solved it with a new garden bed, which is fantastic because not only is the problem gone, I've got some more places to plant conveniently. So it's a recycled project. There's three T posts I bought for this project. I didn't even need them. I used them, but so I've tried to take you with me every step of the way. There was a couple of problems because I'm new to filming. I forgot that I was going to film this whole project, so I missed the very first board I put in. You'll see. I thought I was recording at one stage and I wasn't, so I missed another bit. But what I've tried to do is show you what I'm doing and then speed it up so that it's not taking up a great heap of time and you've already seen it you don't need to see it again and again and again so hopefully I've worked out how to put those times time breaks in the description of this video so that you can just skip ahead to something you haven't seen or if you're coming back find the bit that you want without having to watch a heap of video so there's a meter wide strip also around the edge of this water tank it's always been a bit of a problem for us we heavily mulched it 26 months ago and that suppressed the weeds very well for quite a while but this was fully weeded two weeks ago for the last six months it's just been weed city around here and we're interested in putting in and maintaining some plants around it and not having to fight the weeds all the time so I've come up with a bit of a plan not sure how effective it's going to be but I think it's going to work what I'm going to do is use these boards and a bunch more that we've got in the shed I'm going to wire them up to stakes and fill the interior of there with a mess of mulch grass mulch not woody mulch and every 1.8 meters or so we're going to put a plant in where there's drippers we can put in more drippers we can block off drippers whatever but there's a one uh, about a six foot spacing on these drippers as it stands now and if we unroll this a bit further we can always extend it a bit and it'll be a good excuse to tidy up around here and get rid of some old stuff that we don't need lying around that can go in the shed for a start. So there we go. That's the start of our water line. And we'll see how the project goes.
So I just mark this up where I want to put the two holes. Uh, where's my rock? that there so I don't forget it for the next one. Halfway. Now the hole is right about there. So, make like that. Right. Just a little persuasion. Sweet as a nut. You gotta love 12 inch fencing plies. Safety. Twitch them in. Oops. I figured it was a good idea to have the wire on the inside. Less chance of getting a nasty little ankle scratch or something like that. And probably no one's ever going to walk in here. So this is on side so that we can whip the snip along the outside without hitting a piece of steel every section of the wood. And I think we're going to get away with one of these, each section of wood. If not, I can whip these out and put two in. But I have to go and change a hose. So I bought some 50 centimeter T posts, they're called, to use on this project. And yeah, they're working okay. They seem a little bit flimsy, but what I'm going to be using mostly is cut down Y posts, star pickets, droppers, whatever you like. I mean, these aren't good for much, except you can chop them into pieces and use them as garden stakes and edging. So, yeah, don't throw away your old star pickets.
So from a quick pace around yesterday afternoon, it looks like we're going to need about 10 of that size piece of wood. Um, we have four, so it's time to get some wood. By the way, I've got earplugs in for this bit, so if I'm talking too loud, just tell me in the comments and I'll quiet right down. Thank you. Well, this isn't going to do it in one cut. Oops, the timber's a bit too wide. That's us. I am joyful at being proved incorrect. That's fantastic. Proven incorrect. So we've got seven pieces, we've got three in, we place the other seven around and see how it fits. Juggle them so that we get the pretty side out. I'll get back to you. And all the ugly bits go around the back where they're a bit harder for people to see them. Forgot to mention that. So I've set the boards we've cut in place. This is our last fixed board on this side. And this is a bit rough, of course. So we need a gap filled and we have a couple of pieces off cuts that I'd rather use than cut another whole piece. So I'm going to have to see if they're going to fit or if we can make them fit. So this is just temporary, and this is just temporary, and this is our third fixed board here. So, 
yeah, it was a, a good day's progress for the amount of time it took. I'm happy with it. And we'll see what tomorrow or the next day brings. It's day three. It's time to put some boards in on that side of the project. Uh, the shady side, I'll call it. And see if we can get to the others on this side after the sun's gone down a little bit more. Okay. So we got these three in today. All using cut down star pickets as the pegs. They all went in just fine, then all sharpened. You know, they're just cut off and you can just bang them in. I imagine they either push rocks out of the way naturally or they just shatter them as you smack them with the eight pounder. So, Yep, I didn't have a lot of time today, but I got some more work done. So, 60% of the logs are in, barring the gap that I'm gonna to have to fill in. See you next time. G'day on day four. It's been a good day. I cut a few extra star pickets up, so I've got some extra stakes, and I've got four boards to try and get in. Bit of an early start today, so, Maybe we'll get her done. So that was a good afternoon. We've got four boards in and we have a gap. That is slightly less than our standard board length. It's day five of project. Stop weeding around the bloody tank.
so hopefully it's a little bit windy it's going to be a good one so we've got our two pieces of wood down here they are a little bit scrappy that end is no good and needs to be straightened that end is rubbish this has to come off and this end here is crooked but we should easily have the length to put two pieces in here to make up one last section of the edging for this bed. So I tried to film me putting it in and screwed the pooch. Sorry about that. I can't put it back in and pretend that it's the first time because that wouldn't be right. So we're pretty good. That'll buff out. Okay, time to pin it down. So, quick lap around our hendecahedron. It's looking pretty good, although there's some weeding needed. But the next thing, the first thing to do now, I believe, is workplace health and safety requirements, then some weeding, then some manure, and then some mulch to stop the weeds from regrowing. And that's why we built this thing. So, yep, it's looking pretty good. And I'm pretty pleased with how it's shaping up. Workplace health and safety means a lot of different things. I don't want to bang a leg against this. That's going to hurt. It's probably even going to bleed if I do it hard enough. And that's going to mean extra laundry. No one needs extra work in the laundry. So, a bit of old poly from an ag pipe we're never going to use again. Recycle it, whack it on top of that. No harm, no foul. Now, I don't walk into these things as a rule. If the black plastic wasn't on top there, I probably would. Murphy's Law, all that sort of stuff. But it works. And for some of them, I do it a little bit differently. But this is what I'm going to do around that tank. 
because of how we've wired it out there, this is probably going to be what we're going to do. We're going to have the poly come down and just touch the top of the wood because we're not going to be able to force it down all the way. So since this just can't get past the weight that's being put on it by the soil that it's holding back, this is what we're going to do out there pretty much across the board. And the wire has been twitched tight so those boards are flush up against the pickets and the T-posts. Workplace health and safety. So I'm going to cut a piece that long, 22 centimetres, and then I'm just going to go around and see whether I need to a shorter piece or a longer piece for any individual post picket. Now these pickets, they're not actually wired through an eye hole in the picket so they can be knocked down further because the mower is going to bang into these boards many times over the years I hope and it's going to loosen them perhaps. So being able to pop off a piece of uh, poly pipe bang down the picket a bit more and stick it in the ground a bit harder is going to be useful. So that's the reason why I didn't even think about trying to go through one of the holes in the pickets with the wire. Anyway, I'm going to chop this up and then go for a wander and see how many this length I need and how many other lengths I need. So that's the build finished. I've capped all the pickets, including the old picket that's been there since I don't know when. The, the job is done. Now the next job is going to be sorting out the hose and fertilizing, mulching, and planting some plants. So that's a job for another day, perhaps tomorrow, but I might take a day or two off. And and work in the nursery or something like that so thank you for coming on this journey with me uh, good luck to you in all your endeavors and particularly in the garden and please like share subscribe and i hope to see you again on the next one take care